Well, first off, uh, somebody said that was a record uh, attendance. Uh, pretty cool. And I think that every human being that was in attendance gave all of their effort to make as much crowd noise as possible. And, you know, if I make an excuse that we're a D, only a D2, um, that's the excuse. We're not used to that kind of crowd noise. I don't know if anybody is. I don't know how people even manage. So that's thought number one. But uh, thought number two, you know, give uh, give Montana a lot of credit. I mean, I, I thought they played really hard. I thought both teams played really hard. It was quite a battle. Um, you know, we're uh, you know we're, we're a, a team that you know fights to the bitter end. You saw that. Um, we actually haven't you know really lost a game. Where it wasn't close in a long time, um, probably 2017, um, and we won a lot. Um, and so I'm proud of my guys. They they were going to be, you know, they didn't come here to lose. Let's just put it that way. They didn't they didn't think that they were going to lose. But uh, I told them after the after the game that I was really proud of them because, you know, sometimes young people. They'll look at the, the final score and say, we won, pat yourself on the back. Or we lost, I hate losing, you know. And uh, so I told them last week, I was, I was way more disappointed than them last week with a W than I was tonight. So I was really proud of our guys tonight. Um, and uh, very impressed, uh, truthfully, with, um, you know, just the environment, not just the crowd noise and the level of intensity, but how the fans treated us here. It was, uh, and, and, and you know, since we've been in town, very respectful people. And uh, so just thank you for, for being so kind to us. I heard you, know, you were blasting music as loud as you could at practice. And some of the, the classes were telling you to tone it down because it was so loud on, on campus. What was it like trying to uh, prepare for it? And what exactly, with that noise, what exactly were some of the issues for you guys? Well, you saw, you know, I mean, we were, we were about ready to score. I think we had this ball second and goal from the two, and we got a procedure penalty. Um, you know, the bottom line was we, you know, we, we could hardly hear um, the cord quarterback's cadence, and, and it cost us. It really did. And we score there. Um, it's a tie ball game. Um, and, uh, you know, who knows, right? But uh, we kept on fighting. I think we had the ball fourth and, and 30 there and, and still completed a pass. And, and our guys are gritty, and I'm proud of them. Um, and I thought uh, Montana was gritty, and they played really hard. And it was just a hard-fought contest against two, uh, two teams that I think really have uh, championship uh, you know, pedigree. And, and uh, so good luck to Montana the rest of the year. I, I think they're a quality team, and hopefully they uh, make a good run in the FCS playoffs. What what allowed your team to, to, to stick around? I mean, you guys were up at halftime, and you were like in control of this game for a lot of the, a lot of the time. What what allowed that? We're badasses. Like, <laughs> we're dogs. Like yeah. we fight. I don't know what it is. You know, obviously you guys talked about. You know, coach talked about our record, and all we do is win, 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 and. And uh, people ask me all the time, why? I don't know the answer to that, but I am proud of uh, knowing that, that they're gonna fight, you know, fight till the bitter end. And that's what we did. Unfortunately, we fell a little short and, you know, it's hard, you know, it's hard making checks. It's hard getting in the right protections. Um, it was it was an amazing, amazing atmosphere. You guys tell me, is it is this, is this every week? I mean, every time, pretty much. Yeah, thirty just, years. That's yeah. that's insane. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I think I'm a little older than and than Bobby, but you know, if he retires before me, I want this job because if I got that behind <laughs> me, Coach, I was wondering if you could talk about the timeouts. I don't think you needed to see them. I mean, I thought they were useful for settling your team down. Was it was hard, man. It was hard trying to get uh, you know, from just. You know the fans perspective we missed a couple things like where we didn't get the motion going at the right time we're a big motion team and 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 we do a lot of different things just kind of window dressing things or eye candy things if you will and uh 
Yeah, so we had to use timeouts just to, to get ourselves kind of regulated some. And, and uh, you know, it's hard. It really is. But we got up against the clock a couple times, changing plays. And the one time Carson was in there, and I said, what took you so long? He said, I was calling the protections, and I had to go all the way across to tell all five of them what the protections were. And so it was, it was an amazing environment. And, um, you know, I, I don't ever want to come back unless I'm the head coach here. So. <laughs> What does this do for your team, though, going forward? You must be so proud of how they perform. I'm proud of them all the time. You know, I mean, they've they've been so gritty and and like I like you know, I'm gonna go down in that locker room and they're gonna be disappointed they didn't win because they they expect to win every week. Um, and, and so, you know, I'm proud of them. Uh, I think a lot of people uh, people uh, you know people watching that game. I think we earned some people's respect. Uh, and I don't know, it's not too far off from, uh, you know, Montana beating Washington, right? Was that two years ago? Yeah, so this is the up. Ferris State Bulldogs B2. Um, you know, the team that we just played beat uh, the University of Washington, who I hope, uh, I shouldn't say that, but they are playing Michigan State tonight. So. <laughs> um, but, uh, so, you know, I mean, just talking about that, saying Ferris State and, and, and the level we are, and then, you know, Montana beating a team like that. So, um, yeah, we're really proud. We, I'm proud of my guys. Every day, they just bring their best, uh, you know. You guys probably watch us warm up and say, oh my gosh, that, that free safety's like 5'6", all right? But he, he fought his butt off, you know, just to pay out. And we got little guys that just fight hard. We got defensive linemen, uh, you know, Victor Nelson that's in here, in there that's five, probably nine, who's, you know, fighting with a great, you know, great veteran offensive line. So proud of, uh, you know, I haven't seen the stat sheet, but proud of how hard we fought. Did Montana do anything different, in the, especially in the second half, third quarter? No, you know, I mean, obviously we hit that line drive punt. So, I mean, that's obviously an issue, uh, giving them a short field. They just got the momentum, you know, whereas uh, we didn't, you know, we didn't give them to have, we didn't give them to, the opportunity to have too much uh, momentum in the first half. And we got them from, you know, our defensive line, I thought played re really well. That's the strength of our team. But uh, they got the momentum. And, and when you're in that stadium with the momentum, I mean, you got you got quite a force going. Defensively, what was the key for you guys today? I mean, you held them to less than 200 yards of total offense. Did we? Yeah. 197, I think. Is Crazy. The that's total. unbelievable. Because that's, that's, you know, that's a good offense. Um, you know, our defensive line's good, you know, I'm not gonna lie. We we expect them to be the strength of our team, you know. We got a couple of really good players in, in the defensive line. And, you know, we've had uh, a history of defensive linemen. Um, you know, we got one that plays for the, the Dolphins, um, you know, another one that played for the Chiefs a couple of years ago, one that plays for the Titans right now, and one that played for the, the Dolphins and the Bills um, in the last two years. So we've, we've got a history of good defensive line play. And, and uh, so we are confident they would, they would hold up on the run game, but proud that they held uh, Montana to, to less than 200.